Hi, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to have uh, cuddly chickens or chickens that will follow you around and sit in your lap. I have four backyard chickens um, right to my right over here. I will introduce you to them in a second. Um, and they all are really, really cuddly. They let me pick them up, let me hold them. They'll follow me around the yard. Um, and so I've had some questions about like, how did you get your chickens to act like that and be like that? Um, so that's what I'm going to be answering in today's video. So the number one thing that I think is the most helpful is having your chickens from a really young age. Two of my chickens I've had since they were seven weeks old. Um, and you can even get chickens, you know, much younger than that, like only a couple days. Um, and that's gonna help a lot. Um, if chickens are really familiar with you, you're the only person that they've ever really known, um, they're gonna be really open to you picking them up and cuddling them and jumping on your lap, etc. So that's the number one tip. Um, but I do have two chickens that I got when they were about a year old, so they're much older and they lived on a different farm before this. And still I'm able to get pretty good interaction out of them um, from doing some of the following ideas. So the number one thing you want us to do is when you get new chickens or you've got your chicks that you're raising is feed them out of your hands for a while. The same theory applies to training dogs. Um, if you have a young puppy, you want to feed them out of your hands so that they know that food comes from you. Like if you put it into a bowl, they think like, oh, my food comes from this bowl. Whereas if they're eating out of your hands, they're going to better associate you with food, which is always a good thing. Um, when talking about an animal, you definitely want them to associate you with food and then you are a good person to them who brings them food. Um, and so that's a really good place to start is by um, hand feeding, feeding them out of your hand. Um, the second is to make a same noise every time you go up to your chickens to feed them so that they associate you know you the noise that you make with food so for me i go chick 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 like kind of make like a chicken what i think is a chicken noise and my chickens are like freaking out now that i'm making that noise um but just pick a noise you know you can say chicken you can say their names if you want um but a consistent noise that you make when they get fed and that noise will really help you when you're trying to herd your animals um when you place pressure from behind so when you're kind of like pushing your animals into a new way that's like a stressful situation for them obviously you can kind of tell it makes them stressed out it's much better to be able to lure them so if you have a call like that like chick 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 chicken um or their name or whatever and they'll just follow you or let's say you're shaking a bucket or shaking a food thing and they follow you when you do that that's a much better way um to interact and move your chickens around than pushing them from the back and kind of hurting them which was stress them out um, and that's a good way to make them you know more familiar more comfortable with you and they'll follow you around when you're making that noise which is really convenient um the next thing I guess, if you want your chickens to get into your lap, um, that is something you can train them to do, just like you would train any animal. Um, you just have some treats. I'm gonna use my Grub Terra treats, which I will link down below. I really love Grub Terra. I love their mission, and I have a code Grub10 that you can use to get 10% off of their website. Um, but anyway, I'll just hold some of those grubs in my hand um, on my lap, and slowly but surely the chickens will jump up on my lap, you'll see. Um, and so, like anything, if you want an animal to do it, train them with food and they will do it. Um, feeding your chickens treats out of your hands is definitely a really good way to, um, for them to love you. And then the last thing that, you know, you really need to be doing to get, you know, even cuddlier chickens is spend a lot of time with them. If you only visit them, you know, once a day um, to get eggs and refresh their water or whatever, and they're not as familiar with you, they're not gonna be as cuddly. I try to visit my chicken coop, you know, four or five times a day. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> and just so they're really familiar with me. Um, I've also heard, I don't know if this part is true, but um, wearing the same shoes every day can make them even more comfortable with you being around. They're just really used to seeing, like they wanna see the same things every day. I see a hawk over there. We might have to uh, wait to pull the chickens out. Um, but yeah, wearing the same shoes every day because they're kind of, you know, at your foot level. If you're wearing the same shoes, they'll get really comfortable with those shoes. Um, and I pretty much do that because a lot of times I'm wearing my boots. Um, but right now I'm actually wearing some, some sandals and I think they'll be fine. Um, but when you do get new chickens, that could be something that you could try is to wear the same shoes out to the coop every day, which a lot of people have, you know, their coop shoes, um, that they wear consistently. And that'll just help the chickens to become familiar with you quicker. Man, this hawk is like right overhead. Yikes. Um, those are the main tips that I have for you about making your chickens even more cuddly. 
I'm gonna take them out and uh, we'll go on a little little tour and I'll show you. Whoa. Big hawk. Um, we'll go on a little tour and I'll show you all the things that you know my chickens do. So some people say that some breeds are more friendly than others, um, but this is a leghorn right here, right on top of me, and she's supposedly supposed to be one of the least friendly breeds, and as you can tell, she's like the most comfortable with me out of all of them, really. So I don't really st take any stock in the whole different breeds thing. Um, I would just do all the tips that I've said, and it really can work with any breed. Um, so this is Roxanne, she's a, a silver lace Wyanette, I mean, sorry, no, she's a barred rock. Um, and these two on the ground right here are Easter Eggers, and they're my new birds. They're the ones I've only had for a couple weeks. Um, and they're still doing a pretty good job, like they'll eat out of my hand and everything. Um, and I'm just using all the same practices that I did with the two birds that are in my lap. And over time, they're going to become more comfortable. It just takes a while, you know, um, for that to happen. So, yeah, I mean, there are some breeds, supposedly, like silkies, that are supposed to be much more friendly. Um, but really, any breed, if you follow these steps, will do, will be a lap chicken. Um, it just takes a little bit of you know, perseverance. All right. And now I'm going to lead them back up into their crate. So, um, like I said, I'm going to lead instead of pushing and that can really be far more effective. So let's go. Come on. Come on. Chup, chup. This one is probably the skittish, skitty, skittyish, most skittish. So we'll see. Come on, Henry. Like... 
I hope this answered all your questions about how to have friendly chickens. If you have any other questions, put them down in the comments below. If it had the information that you were looking for, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys back here next week for more gardening, houseplant, and chicken videos. Bye.